I spoke on a really important topic for society in general and that's biodiversity conservation. It's really important because we rely on biodiversity in so many ways for clean air, for clean water, for ecosystem services and also for well-being. People have been measuring the rates of extinction and they've showed that the rates of species extinction have accelerated in all vertebrate groups. Since industrialisation and the expansion of the human population, the rate of uh, species extinctions has accelerated. Another component of biodiversity is the, um, the reduction in the extent of natural areas and natural ecosystems. We had a target of 1.5 degrees that we were going to constrain the global uh, climate to. We're overshooting that and the projections now are closer to three degrees. Every degree centigrade that the atmosphere warms up increases the amount of energy in the atmosphere, increases the amount of water in the atmosphere, increases the severity of events. I think we're, um, we're seeing uh, evidence of it in the frequency of large storm events, floods, fires, it's one thing to look at a, a graph of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. It's another thing to look at the butterflies expanding further north in the UK or um, uh, you know, frogs calling earlier in Europe or species um, uh, contracting their range up to the tips of mountains and likely to disappear altogether. The way omics can, can work is um, to provide the evidence and bring evidence to the table um, for society to make um, evidence-based decisions. In my case, we use uh, genomics to monitor the rate of sex reversal from the coast of Australia all the way up into the Alps. And we can show that the sex reversal rate changes with temperature. And you can get a very precise um, relationship. So omics provides a very good indication of uh, a very uh, sensitive indicator of climate change. And that's useful for the politicians and society in general to make uh, evidential judgments on what, it, what action to take and, and, and why it's important. Genomics is uh, going ahead in leaps and bounds and um, China's at the forefront of that. And certainly the company BGI is uh, really um, making major contributions. So BGI has been um, pivotal in my career in the sense that uh, when I first I got into genomics um, uh, with the dragon lizard. Uh, I worked with BGI uh, to generate the first uh, genome assembly for a reptile in Australia. That research has continued uh, since 2014 when I first came to BGI. Uh, it's continued and um, generated some really exciting results, some of which I presented today at ICG, but there's a lot more results uh, that have come out of that work. So BGI was very important to me, but it's also very important to Australia, a relationship with, uh, between Australia and BGI. And so um, they gave a boost to Australian genomics at the very early stages, uh, for which uh, we're very grateful.